Welcome to Worship Tutorials. Today we have a new Helix patch as well as HX Stomp and Pod Go. This one is called the Dumble Patch. It is based on the Lion 6 Litigator amp model. If you did not know this, the Litigator amp is an original Line 6 amp model, but it is inspired by a Dumble amplifier. Now there are a lot of different Dumbles that are out there. Uh, and the Litigator Line 6 didn't say what you know, specific one they based it on. The most famous Dumble is probably the uh, Overdrive Special. Uh, so maybe it's that. One thing that, that you hear with Dumble amps that they're famous for that we think is characteristic in the Litigator, what we love about this patch is uh, like you get really good clean headroom. So they're really great for a pedal platform. But uh, if you gain them up or if you hit them with drive, they have this really unique character uh, when they're overdriven, overdriven, very warm, very smooth, very thick. Uh, it's nice. And if you're like me, if you play a lot of Vox and Matchless stuff, that's where I tend to live, uh, in the Helix or whatever I'm using, uh, this is kind of a nice change of pace. It sounds different in a really good way. So hit the links below to download this patch for, like I said, it's available for Helix. That goes for Helix LT, Helix Native, Helix Floor. Uh, we have a version available for HX Stomp, and we have a version available for Pod Go. Now, if you're on HX Stomp or Pod Go, or for Helix, you're gonna wanna download this specific patch for that version. The Helix patch will not work on the Stomp uh, or the Pod Go. And uh, you can use the Stomp version on the Helix, but you're not gonna wanna do that. All right, let's hop into HX Edit. So you can see, we can walk through this thing just a little bit. So first of all, on the Helix itself, we have laid out both snapshots and stomp modes. So you can watch our sort of our Helix setup guide, settings guide to see how, I'll link that below too, how you can set your Helix up so you can go between the two modes. You get eight stomps or eight snapshots. The eight snapshots that we have in here are clean, drive, drive plus, praise and worship, P&W lead, clean ambient, clean chorus, pog lead, and swells. So your clean drive and drive plus are a little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay, and then it just gains up uh, as you go. The PNW lead is like a lead tone, but it has lots of reverb and delay. Uh, you can change that if you don't like it. I know not all of you guys love the crazy amounts of reverb and delay that we do in the praise and worship world. The clean ambient sound is a clean tone with a lot of reverb and delay. Clean chorus has a chorus on it. Uh, Pog lead is the same as the praise and worship lead, but we're using the pitch. Not one of the new pitch algorithms from 3.0, but the dual pitch algorithm to, uh, it sounds like a Pog, the way we have it set up. And then swells is ambient swells. So if you go to the link below where uh, the product page, we've like listed out the entire signal flow. So I'm not going to go through all that here. Just know that we have three different sort of levels of gain. So you've got a, um, you've got the king of tone and the 808 in here as sort of your overdrive pedals. We thought those paired really well with this amp. And then on the amp itself, we have the drive parameter on the, or the gain parameter on the amp map to a foot switch, so it's called amp gain. You can hit that foot switch and it turns your amp up. That's probably the coolest sounding drive in this patch, in my opinion. And it sounds really good when you pair that with the, uh, the, t the King of Tone or with the 808, which we've done in the snapshots. So the drive plus is King of Tone plus the amp gain. The lead snapshots are the 808 plus the amp gain. Sounds good. You get two impulse responses with this patch. Both of them worship tutorials, IR cabs. Uh, one, both of them are from the matchless uh, extension cab that came with this, with this chieftain behind me. So that is a custom uh, Celestion H30 speaker that Matchless and Celestion do together. Sounds really good. Very, very full frequency sounding speaker. We tried this with some of the Vox AC Blue IRs and it just felt too mid-range. Felt too much like a Vox and this is not a Vox, right? The IRs make a big difference. So you get two with the Helix patch. With the Pod Go patch, you get one. And it is a dual mic uh, IR. With the Helix and the Stomp patch, you get one 
that is a uh, uh, Royer 121 mic on that cab and a Bayer Dynamic M160. Both ribbon mics, I know, but I think they sound really good together. Uh, this patch also gives you modulation in the form of chorus and tremolo, both accessible via the stomp switches. You get three delays, three reverbs, all kinds of uh, wet effects options for you there. In the HX Stomp version and in the Podgo version, you get, because you can't throw all of these uh, effects into a single preset for those platforms, you get extra patches. We've had a lot of people ask about this before. What are these effects patches? So those patches are just all of these extra effects from the Helix patch uh, that are dialed in for this amp, for this patch, so you can swap them into the main patch uh, to sort of suit whatever setup that you have going on. Because I know a lot of you guys are using the stomp at the end of your board. Some of you are using it more as like almost like an all-in-one with a few extra pedals. So gives you a lot of options for that uh, to use those those effects however it fits your needs best. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, as you might have guessed, we're gonna have a lot more Helix patch content coming in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you for all the support over all the years. We really appreciate it. See you in the next one. Bye.